Hey co-friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with a really quick video on a collection that I've been putting off on using. So I'm finally using that and I'm so happy with these results and I didn't use a gel to get this bomb definition. So let's get into it. As always, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. So this line by Mayel, the sea moss line, is supposed to focus on anti-shedding and anti-frizz and all that and moisture so i really love the shampoo and the mask really left my hair feeling hydrated what i really liked is this leave-in it wasn't like a spray and it's not a cream but it's really light but it's really gonna nourish and moisturize your hair so i felt like i could have just used this alone but i am pairing it with the curl pudding so i felt like it being light was uh, perfect for what i wanted to achieve with this set so i am just gonna apply the leave-in to this entire section and then for each each little section of rows i'm gonna apply the pudding if that makes sense i didn't want to apply the pudding with the leave-in just in case my hair started to dry before i finished my entire head so there was some re-wetting along the way that you're probably not going to see in this video so with all of my rod sets flexi or perm i use the same rotating motion the key to a successful set for me is keeping your hair smooth i didn't really have a plan in mind but i did want to try and achieve a bang with this set so i am setting the front pieces to come towards the front everything else was really just however it fit in make sure you take your time i know a lot of times when you're doing your hair you want to just get it done if you have to do larger sections i did kind of overdo it i think i did 45 rods but if you have to take your time as you can you see i'm making sure each piece is smooth so you do want to get great results so don't rush through this take your time if you have to stop and do it over practice makes perfect so the wrapping method works for me i know there are so many different ways to set a perm rod set or a flexi rod set but this is what gets me the best results now once i did finish this i sat under the dryer for 30 minutes and then I air dry overnight. So if I think for me that helps set in that definition and it just gives you really great results, especially if you have a hard time drying your hair uh, with sets. Starting off underneath the dryer for at least 30 minutes is the best way to go. So this is the part that really like had me really surprised because I didn't use a gel and sometimes I feel like I have to have a gel to get that nice shiny finish. So only using this leave-in and the pudding, I got both and I didn't have any frizz or flyaways, which is kind of what they uh, express in this, the marketing for this line is that, you know, those flyaways, they're going to handle them for you. So I was very surprised. Like, look at this. Like it's very light and fluffy with using a pudding so okay i was like all right i'll put this line in rotation so jazz color curl approved um with the separating like with all my sets i do less so i do kind of tug them a little bit just to get a little bit more length and not have it completely shrunken but it is going to be very tight for me and which is fine because i like to let it grow throughout the week so this is where you would kind of make this style your own but i did want to create some shape where i naturally don't have any with my layers uh grown out in the front especially so the look i was going for i feel like i accomplished but you know basic setting methods and using products to get great moisture and sun and shine letting your hair dry is the main rule i don't care what set you're doing you have to let your hair dry in order to get these kind of results. So for sure at this point is where you kind of make it your own, but I loved it. And so I will be posting on my Instagram actually today really, cause my hair has kind of fallen in place pretty nicely. I didn't get to keep the bang because once my hair started to fall in the front, it kind of was like in my face a little bit. So I think I might prop it up a little bit, but I really wanted a cute little bang in the front for once. And I was able to get that and I was really surprised with this definition i'm not gonna lie i thought because i just knew i needed a gel and i didn't so i was very pleased with the results so if you don't follow me on instagram it's jazz colored curls 
on my Instagram and I'll be posting how my hair lasted throughout the week. But I was really happy with this. And of course, you know, you have to fluff your roots out. And I kind of let it just settle a little bit. And then I did come back like a couple hours later in the end here to show you guys how that looked. But for me, this is my perfect flexi rod set. This is like the start, the perfect base to start with because it's really going to turn into a week long style, potentially two weeks because it's starting off so tight. So that's why I don't like to fluff out my roots so much in the beginning. So this is a couple hours later. And as you can see the difference, like it just started to settle and hang really nice. So this is what I love about a good flexi rise set. This is a low manipulation hairstyle that is going to help you continue to have healthy hair. It's going to help you not do so much, especially if you're transitioning. This is a great style for you to reduce breakage and just a great way to leave your hair alone. So comment down below and let me know, is this too tight for you? You know, have you used this CMOS line? Let me know. And like I say, look out for updates on my Instagram. I do have a couple other videos coming up for you guys, but I am interested in what you all want to see this year. I do want to get into a lot more of sharing my life with you all. So I am going to be getting into that fibroid diet that I mentioned before. If you haven't checked out my fibroid baby story, feel free to check out that at the end of the video. But I do want to hear from my subscribers, which you all want to see next. So as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.